Hey, it's Mike Cooch with Services That Scale. In this video, I am going to show you how to design very automated, high margin, recurring revenue service packages using the high level software platform. This is a question that I get asked in my community all the time. What things should I incorporate into my service packages? Because high level has so much that you can do with it. So many opportunities. So I'm gonna teach you one, a framework for how to think about this, and then two, I'm gonna show you some specific examples that are very common examples that you'll probably just be able to take and run with, okay? So the first thing is, if you're not familiar with my R4 uh, framework, my R4 sales and marketing system and service system for agencies, I'm gonna give you a brief overview of that. That is a, a very successful uh, sales and marketing system that I've been using for 10 plus years. I designed it to uh, train my junior salespeople, you know, salespeople that didn't have a whole lot of experience on how they could talk to business owners in a way that made them seem very credible so that they could pitch our services in a way that they, you know, came across as a guide. They came across as somebody who could lead them. Because really, that's what your prospects are looking for. If you're selling to business owners, they are looking for somebody that can lead them with this marketing stuff and help them grow their business. And so they need to have that confidence in you. One of the biggest mistakes that many agencies make, and particularly new ones that are getting into the business because they've discovered high level and they see the opportunity around it, is that you get very caught up in the technology features and benefits and you don't communicate in a way that actually creates confidence in your prospects. You just confuse your, your prospects. You know, you're using all this technical language and again, talking technology features and things like that. Business owners, small business owners don't know any of that stuff. And so you're just using words that are confusing them. I developed the R4 sales system again, initially just as a conversational framework so that my salespeople could communicate our value proposition in a way that small business owners could understand and they could have a uh, they could have confidence in the person that was selling to them. So let me just walk you through what that is briefly, okay? The four R's, again, the R4 system, stand for reputation, resell, reach, and retargeting or referral. And um, there's, there's a couple of different variations there. I said retargeting or referral, it's because I, I have a couple of different variations that you can use depending on um, what exactly you're selling and who you're selling to. But the point is, there are these four R's that you're going to use in your pitch. Each of those representing a key marketing system that every business should have. Okay, so I'll just give you a simplified version of the pitch. If I was sitting down with you as a business owner and you're saying, hey, you know, what can you do for me? And I do some basic, you know, Q&A on what are they doing for their marketing so far, things like that. And then I say, hey, that's, that's great. It's very common. We hear from a lot of business owners that we work with that they're challenging with these things, you know, challenged with doing these things, those things. They don't have enough time, don't have enough talent uh, in their business to be able to manage their marketing. So what we found is that there are four key marketing systems that every small business needs to have in place to optimize growth at their business. The first one is a reputation system. Okay, your reputation is the foundation of your business's success. I don't need to tell you, but if you know customers are coming in here and they're not happy with products and services and they're going out and telling the world about it, it's very easy for them to spread that negative reputation now due to uh, how easy it is with social media and creating content and all that good stuff. So first thing that we need to do is we need to protect and enhance and grow your reputation and have a, have a deliberate system in place to do that, not leave it to chance. So that's number one, that's the first R. The second R is resell. Okay, every business needs to maximize every customer relationship. Just getting a customer in for the first time, you probably don't make any real money off of that customer because of the cost of sales and marketing. So we have to bring them back. You know better than I do that it's your loyal repeat customers that are the most profitable ones. So we call that resell. We wanna have a system in place to, again, make sure that we are proactively bringing people back into your business, that's resell. The third then is reach. Once we have those two business or those two marketing systems in place, now we have a really solid foundation that we want to reach out to as many new prospects as we can and bring them in. A common mistake that businesses make is they actually invest in reach and advertising before they have the reputation and resell in place. 
And then what happens is they're actually driving people into their business without those first systems in place. And it's actually just accelerating getting negative reputation, negative reviews out there because they don't have these proper marketing systems in place first, or the ads just don't look like they're positive ROI because they're not following up effectively. So we make sure we have those foundations in first place, then we invest in reach to expand our audience. And then finally retargeting, you know that we are bombarded with messages and ads everywhere these days. And so we have to make sure that we're staying in front of our prospects and customers repeatedly to make sure that we have their attention and don't let them forget about us, okay? So those are our four R's. Now again, that was an accelerated pitch, but you can see what I'm doing there is I'm communicating in an organized, structured way that every business needs to have these four marketing systems and I'm using language other than retarget maybe, I'm using language that every small business owner understands. So in order to sell somebody, right, you don't wanna confuse them. Confuse mind doesn't buy. So I'm using these just very uh, clear, commonly understood words and language to communicate my value proposition in a way that, you know, I, I come across as I know what I'm talking about. I'm describing marketing and growth for businesses in these four systems that are easy to understand and it's clear. What I would do if, if I taught you this whole thing is I would be drawing this up on a whiteboard or on a cocktail napkin to, to really illustrate the, um, the system for the prospect. And I teach all of that again in my system. This is a great time real quick just to tell you that everything that I'm covering here is available for free as a bonus if you invest in high level through me, I have an incredible bonus package, thousands of dollars worth of value, taking all of my experience and my training and my systems from over 10 plus years in this industry, developing multiple multi seven figure recurring revenue businesses. And I am offering all of that for free for those of you who sign up through high level through me, or if you're already in high level, you can upgrade to the pro package through my affiliate link as well and get access to all of this. There'll be a link down below here if you wanna learn more about that. Okay, so once we've established those four R's as the foundation of our conversation, it's very easy for us to actually then structure the things that we can do through high level according to those four R's to continue that kind of organizational framework. So what I've done here, you can see I have this service package design document here, and you can see reputation services, resale services, reach, and retarget. Now, what I recommend is that all of your customers get access to certain functionality in the uh, high-level system. The CRM capabilities, the opportunity pipeline management, the universal inbox, reporting, the task management, all of these things are just good features to be able to provide to them to give them uh, reasons to be hooked into the platform and using the platform every day, which is what we want. We wanna increase that pain of disconnect uh, by having them use the platform and putting data into it. But then on top of that, let's say we start with the reputation level. A lot of people think of reputation just as review management, but your reputation is way, way more than that, right? It's, does your website look good? Does it load fast? Does it load on mobile? Those things impact a person's perception of your business, but they also impact very tangible, measurable things like your Google ranking. Google will not rank your website well if you don't have a mobile optimized site anymore. So this, those things really impact reputation. Um, things like how responsive are you? So web chat, uh, do you respond to calls, miss call text back? Um, you know, are, are, is it easy for me to book services on your website or do I have to call and nobody's answering and stuff like that? So online calendaring services, all of these things and your ability to communicate quickly through social messaging, SMS, these all impact your reputation in the eyes of the customer. So when we're pitching to our customers, we want to load up that base reputation package with as many of these features as we can. One, because we're adding tremendous value. Two, these are all services that we can offer in a very, very automated fashion. Three, they generate a lot of stickiness. Again, that pain of disconnect. If I have your website, your mobile website, and you know, you're using my call tracking numbers and missed call text back, the chances that you're gonna cancel service with me are pretty darn low, right? So then moving on to resale services, Resale services 
are, again, we're bringing people back into our business. Um, and this is where we highlight then things like follow-up campaigns, reactivation campaigns, literally resell campaigns, uh, birthday campaigns. It's your birthday, come back in. You know, we've got a special offer for you, anniversary campaigns, referral or nurture newsletter campaigns. All of these things are done then to resell existing customers and bring them back into the business. Great thing about all these with high level is you can create these really templated campaigns, workflows, use custom values, and set these up very, very quickly for customers. So again, they are pretty much 100% automated. So now we've got these two core foundational packages. Remember, reputation and resell are the things in our pitch that we said are the foundations of these successful marketing systems. These are now really all 100% automated services. Reach and retarget, then we get into a little bit more sophisticated services typically where we're doing things like maybe social content development, ad management, stuff like that. Um, things that are more typically associated with agency services. Um, you could do even direct mail. So there's a lot of options here. So those are, again, just quickly and generally in these buckets, again, of reputation, resell, reach, and retarget, how we're organizing our services. The main point that I want you to take away from this so far is that we are loading up as much as we possibly can into the reputation and resell that is automated. It's taking advantage of the technology and tools and assets of high level so that we can get people in, deliver a tremendous amount of value and have those services be very, very sticky. Then honestly, if you never sell a reach or a retarget package at all, you're gonna have a fantastic business because really what you're doing is you're getting people hooked on automation and using the software without you having to do a lot of manual work, which just gives you, like I said, a really, really nice business that you're gonna love, right? High margin recurring revenue. So let me give you a few different ways to package this up in, in uh, some common formats that are very successful in the marketplace, okay? So here's one. This is, again, very high automation focus, okay? With the primary differentiation between the packages being how many SMS call and email credits are being included. Okay, if you're on pro with high level, you can mark up SMS call and email. It's one of the most important features of the platform so that as your customers use it more, you make more money automatically. So what we've done here is I've put all of the reputation and resell in all three of these packages. You can see here, they all include all of that reputation and resell foundation that we wanted. I've got a basic, a pro and a premium just to highlight the differences. And then what I'm doing is I'm giving my customers a very aggressive starting price point to get in here so that we can you know, try and get everybody sold and using the platform. And then a middle price and a higher price. And I'm distinguishing between the, pri the prices and the packages based on how many credits that they're getting. So the more they're spending with us, the more credits that they're getting included and the lower uh, rate they're spending per credit that they're using. So they're getting some advantages by spending more and committing to more. But then I've also done what you can see here is I have differentiated in these different packages based on how many team members they have. Okay, if you go look at like a HubSpot, HubSpot on their uh, different levels of pricing, they have so many different things that they qualify you know, if you want more than this many reports, now you're in this plan. If you want more than this many team members, you're in this plan. I don't recommend that you go that crazy with it. it it's obnoxious, I think, honestly, for a customer to have to, you know, try and understand your jigsaw puzzle of pricing. But how many credits are included and how many team members are using it, it gives you some opportunities to, in a really rational way that most people will understand, raise the price point. Okay, hey, look, you've got you know, this many team members in, that's this price point. It's still only you know, $69 per employee per month, that type of thing, right? Um, or, hey, you're gonna be using this quite a bit. You've got a big list of customers. You're gonna be emailing them every week. You have 10,000 in there. So if you're emailing everybody every week, that's already 40,000 emails a month. So it makes sense for you to go ahead and get in this plan and get a price break, right? So we have, again, all of the reputational resell functionality in all three package 
all three packages because that's giving that real high value proposition. It's very sticky, it's very automated, but we're getting some different price points in here depending on usage and employees. Now, the great thing is with high levels pro features, again, if they use more than these credits, they're just gonna be spending more money with you and high level is gonna automatically bill that at your markup rate and give you the profit. So it, it's a really, really nice, these packages are all fantastic because it's all based on automation. And again, as usage goes up, you just make more money. So it's a, it's a win, it's really nice packages. Now, this is an example there's a lot of people that come into high level from like typically more of like a social media uh, management um, model, so the SM SMMA model here. So I've given you an example here if that's kind of the world that you're coming from. Most social media management agencies are not nearly as much automation and recurring revenue as I would like them to be. And so I'm going to show you how to change your business by putting in this really fantastic layer of automation and recurring revenue before you're selling your more hands-on social media services. So I've got three packages here, foundation, acceleration, and domination, okay? I always like to name the packages in a way that are marketable themselves. So the first one here, you've got all the reputation of resale, and again, somewhere in that 297 to 697 range, depending on you know how much of the credits that they're using, okay? You always wanna make the pitch to every single one of your customers. I don't care what you're selling. If you're selling social media, you want to make the pitch that, hey, it doesn't matter how much of this social media I'm doing for you or paid ads for you I'm doing, it's not going to be successful if you don't have a solid foundation of marketing systems. So we need to put this in place first. That's how you get the automated recurring revenue from every single customer. And that should be the obsession of your business is selling automated recurring revenue. That's how you build a real business. So. We're gonna sell that as our initial package, even if what we're ultimately selling is that we're a social media management agency, okay? So then in acceleration, this is where we are going to accelerate their growth and their reach by doing the social content. You could do, the simple version of this is just doing things like Yex and social calendar and, and uh, you know maybe managing their social posting for them, but not really doing much content development. Um, that's a, that's a very, obviously a very low level of social media management. I would imagine with most small businesses, you're going to want to do content development for them. Maybe even things like influencer campaigns. You could also at this level do things like blog content for them or newsletter campaigns for them. And in these cases, that gives you the ability to get more up into those little more traditional social media management agency price points, like a thousand or $1,500 a month in the SMB space. And then finally in domination, you can then add a paid component to that if you'd like to. Um, I am a partner of Uphex. I'm a big fan of that platform. You can layer that on top of high level. I'll have a link down below here if you'd like more information on that, um, where you can then pretty easily layer in retargeting as a service, giveaway campaigns, birthday campaigns using paid ads, uh, even content, paid content campaigns. So writing up uh, good stories about them and promoting those posts into the marketplace. Um, these are all things that you can then layer on as a paid layer. But again, the important thing here is that you are getting this as your foundation from every single customer. That should be your objective, okay? And then some of you are coming from more of a paid background, an ad management experience, or uh, have that ad management experience as uh, your background in your agency. Uh, the ad management model is typically a terrible model with small businesses because they really just don't have the budget to pay for true ad management. And so churn is incredibly high typically with small businesses. So again, I want you to get that foundation. The foundation is the exact same one as before. Now though, what I've done is I've switched this paid, management, uh, paid ad management to the acceleration package and the social and content over here to be the domination package. I actually really like this structure now because of Uphex. Uphex layered on top of high level allows us to do this Facebook ad management, retargeting as a service, and all these types of paid campaigns uh, and include our funnels as a service and lead magnets and things like that. We can offer that as a very, very affordable upsell to our base package, like maybe charge an upsell of $297 a month 
because the actual ad budget is going to come straight out of the customer's uh, pocket, not yours, and it's not gonna be baked into your services in any way. So for that 297, really what they're getting is they're getting your done for them ad designs, they're getting um, a platform that makes it very easy to launch and manage their campaigns, and they're getting reporting from you, and they're getting your funnels from you, all of that stuff, which can be delivered in a super scalable, efficient, high margin way, using high level and UPEX together. Okay, so those are a variety of different service packages for you. Again, based on that R4 structure to organize your conversation, organize your pitch, and then organize the features that you have inside of uh, your, your service packages based on what you can do with high level, okay? Again, those are examples. You have a lot of flexibility uh, based on who you're selling to and what exactly you want to sell. But these are very common, very successful packages um, that are working out in the marketplace. So I hope that this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, as I said earlier in this video, I have an incredible uh, bonus package for anybody who signs up through high level for me or upgrades to pro uh, with me. Um, you'll get access to all of my training, you'll get access to my proven R4 sales and marketing system and how to design and deliver these service packages, all of my snapshots, done for you content, um, really just about everything that you need to build and run your agency. If you'd like information on that, just check out the link down below in the description here or maybe floating somewhere on this video depending on how fancy we get. Either way, I hope that this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will answer them all personally. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please follow my channel if you'd like more videos like this and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.